Oh, boy, oh, boy. What's up, y'all? We in the building. We are in the building. I'm sorry for being late. I'm here, though. I'm here. We finna get to it with this. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to get my screen right. Okay. Where we at? All right. What's up? What's up, y'all? I'm back. I'm not sick no more. I'm good. I am good. Hold on, y'all. We finna finna get to it. There we go. There we go. Oh, oh, we ain't there yet. Hold on, y'all. Let's get it together. I just got out the shower, y'all. That's why I'm sweating. I have to hurry up. Because I know I said 8 o'clock. So I was terribly late, y'all. I'm sorry. It happens. It happens. We finna get to it in a hot second. Tommy, um, go close that door and tell them that I'm live, please. Please and thank you. A lot of people out there, y'all gotta understand um, about what please and thank you mean. I learned that at a young age that you say please and thank you at all times. But hold on, y'all, it's kinda hot. I was in a rush. I just got done working out. Oh, go oh, yeah, y'all. It's on. It's on. I was in a rush. I just got done. All right, here we go. Here we go. Let's get to it. Prison extortion. I had a homeboy that called me, y'all. I'm working out. He currently is locked up. in the MDOC prison system. Um, he's telling me that, yo, could you send me $100? $100? No problem. Cool. The problem is that I just sent him $100 and I sent his homeboy $100 on his books for him. Let me get right, y'all. Let me get right. A couple of y'all wondering, why did Dante just put this hat on? Well, this company right here paid me, right? They paid me to rock this hat for five minutes, okay? So now, y'all, I got companies that want me they're sponsoring, right? So this right here, that's what that is, right? They done seen me wear this hat a couple of times in some of my lives, right? And they said, hey, we want to pay you an X amount of dollars to, well, with there go. So I'm going to wear this for five minutes, all right? So let's get back to it. So he ended up. So I'm like, okay, what you need the honey for? Now, in the free world, he wasn't smoking, he wasn't drinking. I don't believe he was into gambling. But, some, can y'all hear me good? Type one in the comment section if y'all can hear me good. What's up, Pinky? What's up, Tony Grubbs? What's up, William? What's up, Mickey Scorpio? KG? Robert? Julian? Build a Thought Workshop, okay. Tony Grubbs, Amani, Malcolm Wright, what's up? Ninja. Who else up in there? Who else up in here? What's that say? Renard, Jim Bellamy, Cornelius Hall, what's up? Urban Southern Cookie, Dan Labrie, what's going on? C. Dump, Be Humble, what's up? Care Prime, Limit 28, what's going on, y'all? So, we, hold on. So, something just not adding up, y'all. 
I just sent him a hundred dollars. Then I just sent this homeboy a hundred dollars too. So, okay, it's hot. It goes on. No, you ain't got to turn it on. It's, it's pr it probably, I got to get a filter for this over here. So that way. <coughs> um, no, I, I'm going to have it set up later. But something just don't seem right, y'all. Something seem real fishy. And another thing that seemed real fishy is that we got 37 likes and there's only 69 people in the building. Something ain't right with that. Something something ain't sitting right. But it's cool. Y'all know how the haters do. They refuse to hit that like button. Right? Before we even get to this story, y'all, um, I just read a comment. Actually, I just shouted somebody out. There's somebody in the comment section by the name of Build a Thought Workshop. Right? Build a Thought Workshop. Let's break that down right quick, okay? I want to address that. Every year, um, the dirty section of the world creates different type of words. You got lit, you got YOLO, and then you get thought, right? The road thought. They say thought mean them hoes over there, right? So, what? So, if a dude say, Yo, I'm a thought, so that means there's a hole over there, or I don't, I, I never, I never got thought. I, I, I got the other, even just saying the word thought sound crazy. Y'all, welcome, Mickey Scorpio 313, y'all. He's a new member, Lockdown Warrior. <clears throat> I got a dry cough, y'all. So, I'm trying to see what's going on with that word thought. Them hoes over there, I don't know. That's, I don't know. But let's get back to it. Dante, everything you are saying is right. I did some time in Jackson. If you're from Michigan, then you keep doing your thing. Wake the kids up. Don Rock, I'm talking about Jackson Prison as we speak right now. Are you, I'm actually talking about Jackson Prison. My homeboy is in Jackson Prison right now. And I'm led to believe that he's being extorted. He's being extorted. So, um, I mean, I, I, I think he, I think he's being extorted because you keep asking, and, and I'm not a stingy guy. I know how it is to be locked down. He ain't got no family out here just holding him down with nothing like that. So, you know, Dante going to hit him off a little something every once in a while. You know, I got a whole house household and I got to hold down myself and multiple other things I got to hold down. So, but I know how it is when you locked up and ain't nobody, you know, helping you out. So I give whenever I can. But it, I think that he's getting extorted. Now, it can go a couple of ways, y'all. Before we get into his story, we're going to do this like this. You can get extorted. I call it hard press, hard press extortion, or soft press extortion. Right? Hey, listen, man. You're going to have to stop moving your feet like that, man. My bad. I'm just no, no, you keep disrupting my life, man. My Come bad. on, man. Every time you keep moving, you keep the floor keep on creaking and all that, man. I'm trying to do my life. You robbing the people of a good life, man. Come on, stop moving your feet. Yo, I can't get no respect nowhere. I can't listen. The Bible says that a prophet get no honor in his own home, and I just can't. I come on, man. That's all I'm saying, y'all. I'm sorry I keep getting distracted, y'all, but. My house is a madhouse. It's a madhouse here. It's definitely a madhouse. Yeah, Tommy, y'all. Yeah, it's Tommy, y'all. It's, uh, it's always Tommy. All right, let's get back to it, y'all, before I, my mind goes somewhere else. So, you get it where, um, 
Oh, that's what I said. So you, you, it's a hard press extortion. Then you got soft press extortion. <coughs> we're gonna go with the hard press first. Well, we're gonna go with the soft press. Soft press is when you got a guy that'll come up to you, and he just keep coming to you asking for something, right? He keep coming to you, saying things like, "Hey, let me get a shot of coffee." Hey, let me get one of them honey buns. You like, man, I can't get you no honey bun. Well, let me get half of it, man. Right? Or or, or every time you crack open a bag of, of chips, he right there. It's always keep asking. There's always asking. Right? Um, when, you, when, when you're on the jail phone, he right there begging for, for three ways, right? Hold on, y'all. People talking about they hate when I eat on the lives. So I went back and I watched a couple of my lives and that when I was eating. And yeah, y'all, I'll be smacking. So I'm going to stop eating on my lives. But I am going to drink some water, though. Y'all can't stop me from doing that. Y'all doing too much when y'all ask me. I got to drink some water. Mm. California. Mike Wensley, what's up? Jonathan Post, what's up? Be humble. Charles Locks. It's in the building, y'all. So you get it where um, you got to nip that in the bud, man. You got to go nip that in the bud. California, California, yay, what's up? So you got to nip that in the bud. You know, if you got a cat that's always, every time you get something, he always right there keep begging with his hand out, right? And it's like... We already in here. We ain't got too much already. But every time, you know, I get a little something, you right there with your hand out, right? So saying that, that that's soft press. That's soft press when somebody's soft pressing you. Now, if you if you were a predator, which either you're going to be predator and prey, it, you're only going to be one or the other, okay? There's a great neutral ground. Which I fell into. I was definitely, definitely not no prey. At times, I had to be a predator. But that was because I had to react to a reaction. Okay? <clears throat> Big Money, what's going on? Tony Grubbs, what's up? William, what's up? So, um, when I say there's a gray line. Hold on, y'all. When I say there's a gray line, there's a gray line, and you can that I fell under, which that, like I said, I wasn't prey at all, and sometimes I had to be predator, only because I had no choice. Because it's one of the things where either you gonna get violated, or you gonna be the violator, right? And that can go in many different ways. <clears throat> I got a dry cough, y'all. That can go in many different ways. Um, and I'll explain that later on in the live. But a hard press extortion is, um, it comes with trickery and deceit also. Where a guy will come to you and be like, hey, um, You'll go to a guy, and you'll be like, yo, let me borrow, let me get two bags of chips from you, right? The dollar bag of chips, but they eat like two-something now. A lot of convicts, like real convicts, they know, they know how to open up them coffee bags. <coughs> they know how to open up them chip bags and take chips out. Right, and then seal it back up in a way that you wouldn't even know that they even went in there till you open that bag up and you can't prove it. Especially with the coffee. You can't prove it at all. So this is I'm gonna tell y'all something. Even with with the extortion thing, um when somebody give you something, open it up right then and there. Alright? Open it up right then and there, man. 
Because once you walk out that cell, when that person give you something, you are responsible because they the first thing they gonna say, well, I did give it to you. I don't know if you traded it off to somebody else and they did you like that, or you straight lying. Any case, either way, make sure you got what you got in that bag or whatever they give you. Because that will lead into something else. <clears throat> Mickey Scorpio, it's like this. Nah, if they put it now, now if you dealing with somebody that you been dealing with, then cool. I mean, if, if he ain't no shicey dude, they ain't never rip you off, fine. But yet, if they put on your pillow and they walk off, um, just be up on it. Be like, yo, hold on, right quick, and then bust it open right there, and see, see what, see what, if it, everything check out, cool. Cause you gotta understand, man. Um, in prison, it's a lot of shiesty people in there, man. I was shy, shiesty at a point in time, but that was only cause I had no choice. Um, on the outside world, yes, I'm a cool. In the outside and in the inside, I was real cool. A lot of dudes gravitated to me. Um, I was easy to talk to. Um, I was never really in no mess unless um, it just came to my doorstep literally. And it had to be handled. But um, outside of that, you know, just check your stuff. Because somebody, like I said, would give you a bag of chips. And they done opened up the chips already and they took out half of them and sealed it back up. And then you go, you you ain't really paying attention. You go lay down. I mean, you go put your stuff in your locker. Two, three days later, you bust down the chip bath and do your spread. And you notice and like, yo, what's the hold on, man? Hey, man, what's up with these chips, right? So you go back to them like, hey, bro, I don't know what you want. But um, this bag of chips you gave me, it wasn't nothing in here but, you know, about five or six, you know, chips. What's, what's up with that, man? I want my money back. <clears throat> he like, man, you better get up out of here with that with that nonsense. He like, Ma, man, I need, I need, I need me, man. Come on, man, give me, give me back my money, man. I no, I, you ain't about to give me like that. He like, look, man, I don't know what you want, but um. I gave you a full bag of chips, so I don't know what you mean. You, you better get up out of here, man. He like, man, hey, listen, man, I, I need me, man. Give, give, give me my money back, man. Come on, I didn't, didn't do like, yo, how I don't know that you got them chips and you opened them up and you ate a whole bunch of them out and now you want to come up and get your money back? Get out of here with that dope fiend crap, man. What would what, what, you take me as, man? Huh? What you take me as? Get up out of here. With all that dope fiend talk, man. That dude like, no, man, just, man, for real, man, just give me my stuff back. Man, I ain't giving you nothing back. Now what you gonna do? Now he done pulled out the sword of justice. What you gonna do now? You better get up by myself before I do that to you. You better get up by myself before I do that. I'm gonna put this thing through your wife, man. You better get up by myself before I do that to you. Right? So dude bag out like, man, all right, man. All right, you got it. You got it. All right, you got it. Right? Like, yeah, I know I got it. I know I got it. Don't make me do that to you. Don't ever come up my cell again. Or I'm going to do that to you. All right? All right, bro, you got it. Now, um, two things can happen here. Actually, many things can happen at this point. Um, The guy that just got took, um... He could come back with his own sword of justice and get out, or um, he can let's leave it alone and don't deal with him, or he could get on some um, um, deceitful, sneakery foolishness, right? I done seen where if you can't beat him, Right? If you can't beat the dude, go tell on him. Go play. <laughs> mm. hey, Y'all, I'm only operating at um about 
I'm not all the way healed, but I'm operating at 90%. This is why I'm drinking water and all that, right? So um, if you can't be the dude, right, and I'm just saying, man, this, this is how I go, man. In prison, there's no honor. In prison, you hear dudes talking about, oh, I live by a certain code. I live by a certain creed. Yeah, all right. All right. What was this code at? What was this honor at when you was out there committing crimes? All right. And that goes for me too, y'all. But I ain't been locked down for almost 10 years, so, you know, it is what it is. But dudes be having all these codes and creeds and all this type of crazy, right? Yo, L. Yeeman, I'm glad you said that. <clears throat> Yo, y'all, L. Yeeman said, how you got so many stories and only did two years? That's a good question. A lot of people want to know that. I'm about to answer that for you. <clears throat> Anybody that been locked up, right? Anybody that been locked up, you know that every day, every day, you getting about three or four stories, right? Three incidents, five, ten incidents can pop off in a day. Now, as far as the stabbings go, you might get one once a week, or it really depends. Okay, let's do a monthly. You might get about five stabbings, maybe eight. Five to eight stabbings a month, okay? There's a fight popping off. There's at least about 10 fights popping off a day, okay? Um. Yeah, I did two years of prison time, but I did almost combined. Um, most of the prison stories y'all are getting is from the two years that I was locked up. But I'm also giving y'all county stories, too. In the county stories, you talking about from the age of, of 18 to... Uh, 18 to maybe 20, 28. I think that's the last time I was locked up. From 18 to 28. So that's why I got all these stories. And like I said, you can squeeze out about five stories a day by being, while being locked up. But let's get back to it. So I hope I answered your question. No, Scorpio, I didn't do... <laughs> okay, y'all, I didn't do 10 years. I had 10 years. I had 10 years. I'm going to have to do a whole story time about that, but we getting far from that. I had 10 years. They gave my max was 10 years, and I did too. But we'll get into that in another time. How to join the family. Um, When you, sus okay, unsubscribe, and then subscribe again, and then it's to say join, and then that's how you join. Or just go, in the, go into the description and click on the link, and it'll take you right there. So now you, so, so y'all making me distracted. I got to get back to the story. So, so he, okay, so then you can go tell, you can go tell the guard or go plant something on the dude. Now, if you can't beat the dude, right, if you can't beat him, um, plant something in his cell. Go get you, go, go get you a toothbrush, right? File it down to a to a good center point like that, and go put that under his bed while he ain't while he in the shower room or he out there in the yard. Go put that in his locker. Go put that somewhere in his cell while he ain't in there, right? And then go let the folks know that yo, um, or drop a kite on him. I've seen that happen many times, man. And this is why, listen, I'm going to tell y'all right now, it's a, lot, it's a lot of treachery, a lot of treachery and deceit that go, <laughs> y'all keep on thinking, <laughs> y'all keep thinking these dudes that's locked up, is, that, that's, that they are living on an honor code. <laughs> they not, man. 
it's a lot of people that just it's a messed up people y'all it really is it it really is and yes of uh, charm locks let me tell you something people over a bag of I, I done seen a man take one of these and put this in another man's eye over a honey bun. Over a honey bun. It started off as a honey bun, right? That's a honey bun. But then it escalate zero to a thousand. Zero to a thousand. So they playing checkers, right? And we keep moving away from the extortion. Come on, y'all. I'm going to give y'all this honey bun story. So you get this white dude named Mike. Mike was about, he was about 40, 42 years old. And you got this little black dude. I forgot. I think his name was Woody or Woody or something like that. And they would play checkers all the time, right, in the day room. Now they was playing Chinese checkers, and I guess you could do you you can go forward like boom boom, and then I guess the Chinese checkers you can jump back also while you um taking their chips or something. So they playing for a honey bun at this particular time, and um Mike cheating. I mean, um, the white dude basically telling him that, yo, you can't do jump backs the way he did it. So they got to arguing. So the black dude just take the honey bun like, man, no, I'm done. I'm done. White dude like, no, you ain't done, man. Hey, give me that. Because the white dude came with the honey bun and the black dude was playing them for it. So, he, so the black dude got up. Tried to walk off with it. So the white dude ran up behind him. Like, hey, man, stop playing, man. Give me my honey bun back. Give me my honey bun. You know, we all looking. Like, man, what the... And at the... Hey, y'all. On this block, it was always crazy. It was always crazy. Hey, Tommy. Is there any way that you can send the link for somebody to join the page? What, on on the Dante show to be a, to become a member. They have to subscribe and then once they subscribe, join the membership and talk to them. Just what I said. That's this is that's exactly. the only way. There's no way. Wait, th wait, I think I see it. I, there is a way right here. Hold on one second. I think I found it right here. So he he, he get behind him and he like, yo man, get my honey bun back. He like, man, I ain't giving you nothing, man. Get it in blood. So the white dude like, all right, all right, all right. You want me to get it in blood? He like, man, get it in blood. So he like, all right. So the white dude walk off. Two days later, um, they back down there playing again. I'm thinking like, okay, you know, they argue, they kiss, they make up, you know, it ain't nothing. Well, um, at this particular at this particular time, um, they plan again. The white dude lose. Hold on, y'all. I'm about to put this link up right quick for the people that's asking how to join the page. Hold on one second. Here we go. I'm about to put it up. So the white dude, um, he lose again. So the black dude like, yo, go get me, go get me a honey bun. The white dude like, man, I ain't getting you, I ain't getting you nothing. He was like, what now? I'm gonna tell y'all something. These dudes always playing, they always playing, um, <coughs> checkers every day, man. And we used to hearing them argue, but at this particular time, y'all, um, I guess the black dude was feeling some type of way. And I guess because the white dude, you know, barked on him, he felt like he wanted to do something to him. So he was like, yo, I ain't giving you nothing, right? Hold on. Here you go. That's the link right there. If you want to become a member, 
click click that link right there I just put up. Uh, yeah, there it go right there. Yeah, click that link right there. I just put it in the in the comment section. It's right there. So there it go. If anybody wanna become a member, um, it's right there. Y'all see it? I'm gonna pin it up at the top too. There it go. So if you wanna become a member, click right there. And uh, there it go. So now you get it where, you know, the black dude fronting basically. He like, man, what's up? What's up? And the white dude like, man, watch out, man. I ain't even trying to go there with you. He like, no, what's up? What's up? He calling them all out his name. I ain't going to say what he called them, y'all. I don't like to use some racist terms, but he calling the white boy all out his name, calling them every type of derogatory white name that you could possibly think of. Then he just turned white dude walking off and black dude basically walking up behind him, but he just turned around. The white dude just turned around with that sword of justice and was like, boom! It was like direct contact. Like, it was like bullseye. Just put it right to his eye. Like, bam. Black dude holding his, like, oh, uh, oh, uh, uh. Right? He lifted, the joint was lifting his eye. White dude was like, boom. And he like, oh, oh. And he poured it out, man. Ooze, blood, squirt. <coughs> hey. Y'all better stop playing, man. Stop playing. We got 134 people in the building. We only got 105 likes. Well, that's still good, ain't it? So he stabbed him in the eye, and we all like, yo, it's, I'm telling y'all, man. Uh, in prison, yo, y'all welcome Steve C. We got a new member. It's in the building, y'all. Welcome, Steve C. Um, man, I'm going to tell y'all, man, it's all over a honey bun, man. He told him, get it get it in blood. And the, and, and the white boy got it in blood. Yeah, he, he got it in blood. Um, I told y'all a story, another one, where you got this dude, right? Hold on. Shock Lee. Come on, Big D. No homo. This the first time I caught you live. Quit playing. Talking about money buns. And shout out to New Zealand. Shout out to New Zealand. St. Damien, what's up? So, um, and again, y'all, welcome Steve C. So then you get it. Um, I told y'all the one story about the Somalian dude, right? Yeah, I'm going to put that cash app up, too. Just hold on. Tommy, put the cash app up. Okay. Tommy about to put the cash app up, y'all. Um, You get it where the Somalian dude, he, um, hold on. You get it where the Somalian dude, right? Every time this black dude would get on the phone, the Somalian dude, would get over there and get to talking all loud, right? He'd get up there and start talking all loud. Being obnoxious. Right? That's being real obnoxious. And, um... One day, um, the older black dude, he planned it out, just like clockwork. He went over there, got on the phone. Now, listen, the jail phones that we had, you got, okay, so they was on the wall, right? The cord was maybe about, uh, I'm going to say the cord was about this long, maybe about a foot, a foot and a half, maybe, I don't know, 24 inches or something. And it was like metal. It was like like metal. So what he basically did was when he got on the phone and act like he was on the phone, the Somalian dude kind of, the Somalian dude had his back to him and he just got to talking loud. 
Then the dude just got the phone cord and just wrapped it around his neck and yanked up. Jim Bellamy. Y'all welcome Jim Bellamy, man. We got a new warrior in the building. He done, he just joined y'all. Welcome Jim Bellamy, y'all. So, yeah, he, he wrapped him up and choked him out. Matter of fact, um, if y'all want to see that video, give me a hot second. I'm going to show y'all. I'm going to show y'all in a hot second. It's called, um, where is it at? Where is that video? Hold on. It is called, um, I don't know. I thought I was. Huh. I got so many dang videos on on here. I'm gonna have to start categorizing them. Um. I'm looking, y'all. Y'all can't see what I'm looking at, but. Um. I don't know. I don't know what that video at. It's on there somewhere. Well, yeah. Um, oh, here you go. Here you go. Here you go. I got y'all. Hold on. I got y'all. This the video right here. I think it's called M8 Black. What is it? Hold on. Good morning, good evening, y'all. I am back from Vegas. I'm back, baby. Hold on. This is it. Morning, good evening, y'all. I am back Get from Vegas. Get your I'm back, baby. Nope. I don't know where it's at, y'all. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that's the video. Plus, it's doing some crazy feedback. I don't know where the video at. It's one of these videos. I don't know. Well, anyway, so, um, yeah, so he wrapped the cord around the dude's neck and lifted him up kind of off his feet. The dude got the foaming at the mouth. He, he, um, eyes rolling in the back of his head. Um, crazy. Just because he was playing too much. Just because he kept being loud, kept disrespecting the dude every time he got on the, every time he got on the um, phone, the dude would go over there being funny, just being real loud. So, you know, dudes can lose their life over, over really nothing. And every day is something. Every day is something. And um, I just want people to understand that, you know, prison Jail ain't a game. It ain't a game. Black hat dude sleeping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, yeah, you remember that, Jim Venom? So, um, let's get back to the extortion game. Um, and why are we even doing this live? I think my homeboy is getting extorted in Jackson, Michigan. I think my homeboy is getting extorted. <coughs> The other week, yo, I, I put a hundred on his books, and I put a hundred on somebody else's book that he directed me to put the hundred dollars on. Then here he go. Two days ago, I'm on my deathbed, my sick bed, right? And he's sitting up there, keep on, yo, he hounding me. And I'm like, I just sent this dude two hundred dollars the other week. Man, what is going on? Um, this is why I'm going over all the possibilities about being extorted in prison. If you were, if you somebody that indulge in gambling, drugs, um, almost in anything, right? No, nah, not my cousin. This is my homeboy that's locked up. Charm locks. This one of my homeboys that's locked up. I'm a I'ma find out what's going on. Um, later on tonight. I got 
another homeboy up there that got a phone and already, you know, told him what was going on and let me know what exactly was going on, right? Because there's a couple of the things, y'all. I don't fund nobody drug habit, right? I don't fund nobody drug habits. Um, if one of my people get into a jail, I send something there to try to, you know, get them out of that jail. Cause like I said, you can lose your life real crazy, right? For nothing. Um, but I'm not gonna keep coming to the rescue. If you done got into a gambling debt, you know, I hit you off with something. Know to get you up out of that, but you better not go gambling no more. You can't call Dante. No more. I'm gonna get you out of this. After that, you on your own. I done did. I, nah, you ain't learned. Cause a lot of cats, you get them out of a debt, they get right back in debt. And then, man, Dante, come on, bro, bro, come on, man. I need you. I, I need you bad, man. I see you, Charm Locks. The email is in the description. Hey, y'all, we can do a call in. Y'all want to do a call in? Let's do a call in. I'm going to put the number up. I'm going to put the number up. We're going to do some calls in. <coughs> I'm about to put the number up, y'all. We about to do some call ins. Where is that? Okay. Where you at? All right, y'all, I'm about to put the number up. Give me a hot second. About to do the... You know what? It, it's a couple of things I do want to talk about. Okay, so it's playing military mind games, y'all. How y'all gonna not... How I... Uh, did not let me put the number up. Okay, then I'll put it in the description then. Hold on, y'all. Let me put it in the description. About to put the number up. Y'all can call in. Tell me how y'all feeling. Oh, man, what's up with this? They won't let me put the... You want me to put it in? I got it. I got it. It's letting me do it now. All right, y'all. There go the number right there. Y'all can call in. Um, Please. Please, y'all. Only call that number when we live. Because they shut the number down the last time. I had to get a new number. Because too many was too many people was calling. It was jamming up the live. Or was jamming up the phone. But there go the number, y'all. 810-219-7339. That's 810-8108. 219-7339. There you go. Let's talk to the people. Because I tell y'all all the time. <laughs> Without y'all, there will be no me. Right? Without y'all, there will be no me. Right? So, I'm not hard to get in contact with. Right? It's right there, y'all. So, if y'all want to call in, let's do it. So when y'all call in, let me know how y'all feel. Do y'all think my homeboy getting extorted or what? We gonna talk about that. Cause to be honest, I'm I'm leaning on the side. I'm thinking that he is, and I would know officially around ten o'clock is he is or he or he ain't. Cause I I know a couple of people in there. One of my homeboys. I'm not saying his name. I'm not saying what block he on or nothing. But if you get caught with a cell phone, ooh-wee, ooh-wee, 
That's real bad. Hey, y'all, listen. The number right there. 810-219-7339. There it go. No trolling. Please, no trolling. Not tonight, y'all. I'll let the trolls call later. But right now, no trolling. Let's see. Okay, so, yo, Pinky, you still in the building? Another tactic to extortion, y'all. Uh, <coughs> you get a guy. Oh, the hard press, too. You get a guy that just come up to you like, yo, straight up. Yo, you going to give me A, B, C, and D. Come, one, you know, you go up in there. You see a, a dude that's green. You are, the, the blood is in the water because um, when he came in, a, a, a guy that screamed down on him and, you know, he tucked tail and ran to a cell. And we done seen where this dude to come in with his, you know, with his commissary and cats to just walk up to him and take what they want. Well, he come in there with his food tray and they just take his, take his tray. So, um, you got that type. So, you know, you, you get a guy that, uh, come in your cell and just tell you like, yo, here's, here's my laundry bag. I need for you to fill that up. I need a couple. I know you got about 20 soups in there, right? I know you got about 10 bags of hot Cheetos. I don't want them all. I don't even want them more, right? Just look out for your boy, right? He say look out for your boy, right? Like, like that's his guy. Come on, man. I know you in there eating good, man, here. Now, you want the impression like, man, this dude is a big dude, man. Right, I mean, picture it, right? You a new inmate, right? You don't know nothing. Hold on. You a new inmate. <laughs> you don't know nothing, right? Yo, the doc. Hold on. Okay, Woody. I got your message. So you, so you get up in there, right? You a new inmate. Um, you don't know nothing. You get in there. You done got your um. Uh, after about a month, you done you done got settled in. Now you done went to the store. You done bought you about ten bags of Doritos, a hot Cheetos, probably hot Cheetos. You done bought you about twenty honey buns. You done got you about what? Two cases of Fago um, grape soda. Um, you done got you about 30 packs of um, chicken ramen noodles. Matter of fact, you done got you the jalapeno um, cheesy squeeze it. You done got you a couple of um, summer sausages, right? <clears throat> yeah, you about to eat good, right? You done... You done got your bag. You got two big commissary bags. You just, you done got it walking from the store. It's all good, right? And you get in your cell. You take your stuff out. You put your stuff up in your locker. You got maybe about 20% of your stuff right there in your locker. Then you get Dante, right? You get Dante, right? Dante, what, about 5'11"? 225 pounds, right? Lean with the muscle, right? And I just roll up on the cell, and I like, I'm like, uh, he turned right, like, can I help you? I'm like, hey, uh, bro, you got any cookies up in there? He like, nah. I, 
I ain't getting no cookies. Well, y'all do got some cookies. I got some lemon cookies. You know, y'all know the, the one pack of cookies where it's like a row, a row and a row, like three rows. <coughs> Them type of cookies. So, he like, yeah, yeah, I, I, I got you. I got you. I'm like, okay, let, let me get some cookies. He like, okay. So, he come over there with the pack. And I, and I, like, grab, like, half of a whole row. So I cuff them. So I'm eating. I'm like, hey, bro, let me get some of them. Let me get a grape soda to wash this down. Right? He like, all right, all right. I, I guess there you go. So, okay, cool. So I pop open the pop, and I get the drink and the soda. I'm just, I'm at the cell. He said he putting his stuff up. I'm like, hey, let me hold down a bag of Cheetos, too. He like, all right, man. All right, here you go. I'm like, all right, thank you. Thank, thank you. And I walk off, right? Uh, let's fast forward to another two weeks. Same situation. I've been doing this for about three months now. Now he tired of Dante keep coming to his cell asking for stuff. Well, this particular time, Dante rolled up with the same, this, this, the same get down. But it, but the last couple of times, you know, he been kind of resisting a little bit, you know, giving me a little pushback, but he's still giving in. So, this time, I roll up, I'm like, hey, he like, hey, listen, man, I don't know what you want, but you, you know, you, you can't, I, I need to eat, man, you keep taking action. I was like, hold on, I ain't never take nothing from you. I'm just saying, like, let me get a couple of bags. He like, no, nah, man, I no, I no, man, I I can't give you nothing else, Dante. You, every time you come in here, man, you just come on, Dante. Every time you, every time I get some, you always right there. So I'm like, hey, man, I'ma need me a couple of them bags of of our Cheetos, man, and I need at least a couple of them soups. He like, listen, bro, I'm not giving you nothing. I ain't giving you nothing else, man. No, plus you ain't paid me back from the other stuff. Dante like, hey man, you ain't never said I have to owe you anything back, man. Let me get some of them suits, man. He like, no, I ain't give you nothing. I'm like, all right, all right, all right. So then I walk out. I go to my cell. I go grab this right here. And I go get me a laundry bag. And I go in, go to a cell. And he said, man, what's up? And I throw the laundry bag out. I'm like, yo, I need for you to fill that bag up right now. He like. Man, I ain't feeling out nothing, man. And he throw it back. I said, so, all right, check this out. I'm not going, I ain't, I'm not into keep repeating myself. Now, this your first and last only request. I'm going to need for you to fill that bag up. And I throw it back at him. When he picks it up, I whip out the sword of justice. And I march down on him. I'm like, let me tell you something. I'm only going to ask you one time. And I already asked you, so the next time, I'm going to have to push that blade in you. Now, fill this bag up. And he's like, bro, you ain't got to do this. You ain't got to do this. I'm like, yeah, I know I ain't got to do this, but, you know, you, you, I asked you nicely to come up off that, and you wanted to give me a hard time. No, y'all, this ain't really happened. I'm just putting myself in that predicament. So he like, no, nah, man, come on, man, don't do this to me. And I'm like, hey, let me tell you something. I just told you I don't like to repeat myself. So then I get that blade and I put it up to his neck. I said, man, open your locker, man. Open your locker. Now I'm taking it all. Now he's like, come on, bro, don't kill me. I ain't, man, don't make me kill you in the cell, man. Open up your damn locker now. He opened his locker. I said, put all that, all of it in there. I want all of it now. I want it all, right? Clean the whole lock out. Walk out with his stuff. He come out to say, man, you going to do me like that? He all loud now. Everybody looking. The CEO's got the attention. They looking like, yo, what's going on? Man, man, he took my stuff. He took my stuff. He tried to kill me. He took I hear you up and dip off down the cell, take the sword of justice, throw it under my partner's cell, and I go put the bag in there. The CEO come up and say, like, yo, what's going on? Like, I don't know what's going on. He's he steady on the tear. Now, at this point in time, y'all, um, everybody watching. I'm telling y'all how the hard-pressed um, extortion game go. 
everybody watching this unfold and everybody seeing that he's yelling out and letting the police know what's going on. That's a big no-no, right? Remember, that's a big no-no. You got to handle your bed. You cannot alert the police because a lot of, well, I'm not going to say, well, I tell y'all what, I can't, I tell y'all all the time, um, I can't tell no man how to program, um, but in some cases, it is good to alert the police so you can get put in a hole and get away from the danger because the truth is this, y'all, the object, if you got a date, because some, some, some dudes don't get a date when they get locked up. But if you got a date to go home, um, the objective is to get out. Right? Just to, that's the object, objective is to get out. So, in some cases, if you got a date and you, and you man, go ride your time in a hole. Go do your time in a hole. But if you got you a long stint, nah, they're not tell the cops because they, hey, I'm telling you, you they, now dudes watching, police come up there, they lock me down, take Dante to the hole, give me an institutional charge for stealing the robbery, right? I got to go to court or I got to go to a, in front of a real judge. With a new armed robbery charge. Man, hey, it get crazy in there. Um when you, if you get to prison, right? You get to prison, don't take nothing from nobody. This is one of the biggest things with another extortion game, and this this is where all you freaky people out there. That, that, that just love the booty bandit stories, right? This for you freaky people out there, right? Hold on. This for the freaks out there. Um, If somebody, nobody ain't giving you nothing for free, okay? Unless you are a part of a gang or organization that look out for their people, right? But typically, if you go in there, yeah, I am. I'm still kind of, um, Quanswell, I'm still, yeah, I'm still am con congested. I'm not 100%, um, I'm, I'm not 100%. I'm like 91%. I should be way better by tomorrow. But if you go to jail, right, or prison, and you got a tone 40, thank you for that. <clears throat> you go to jail or prison, and you find somebody coming there, right, and being overly, overly nice to you, and giving you, hitting you off with things, giving you things, Um, he wants something. All right. Sometimes he just wanna. Sometimes he just wanna. You got the long con and the short con. Where you, where the dude might just wanna give you these things, so what that way you'll owe him later on. Right, owing him later on can be the re, to, can be the result of. You holding down contraband for him. You hold on. What's going on with the rainbow thing? You you holding down contraband for him, right? You hold down the contraband for him. You putting you putting things in your cell that can get you thrown in a hole, right? You or um. Uh, he giving you things, and then 
um, when he asks you for, he giving you things, right? And then one day he's going to want something back in return. Now he done all to get, come on, William, my him, cut that out, man. Y'all cut that out. <laughs> Y'all, William, is you one of the freaky people? Now listen, come on, y'all. Uh, you get it where he like, hey man, come come to the cell right quick. I I, I need to holler at you. He like, what's up? What's up, OG? Hey, listen. Um, uh, check this out. I need for you to um. I don't know how to tell you this, but um, you remember all that food I was giving you when you was hungry at night? He like, yeah, yeah. What what's up, man? He like, man. I don't really know how to tell you this, but um, um. I, I've been keeping a tally on how much I've been giving you, man. You're like, what you mean a tally? Well, I done gave you about 30 ramen noodles. I done gave you about 20 honey buns. I done gave you at least about four bags of coffee. He's like, yeah. Yeah, you you, you did. You, you did that. I kept them bloods off your ass, right? You remember when the blood started to run down on you? And I... Stepped in, I say, no, nah, y'all, he with me, man. He 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 with me. I I got him. That's that's me. Y'all y'all fall back. You remember that? Yeah, yeah. You 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 right. Yeah, you did that. He like, well, hold on, hold on. Let, let me drink some of this water. Just hold on. I got you. He like, well, check this out, man. I've been locked down for about 20 years now. I, I, I've been going on, it's it been about 20 years, man, I, that, I, that I've been free. He like, oh, okay, OG, what's, talk to me, what's going on? He like, well, I'm just saying, man, uh, man, I already wanted, I don't know how to really tell you this. Matter of fact, hold on, watch out, watch out, young blood. Then he put the white sheet up on the bars, right? Young dude, like, man, what the, what the, what the what's going on? He like, hey, man, hey, listen, man. I know you ain't going to be able to pay me back, right? But um, there's other things you can do. And he like, man, OG, you scared me, man. What? Just tell me, man, what's going on? He like, man, uh, like I said, man, I've been locked down for 20 years, and you know, I ain't. I ain't touched a woman in so long. He like, well, OG, I don't know what to tell you, man. I could, you know, I, uh, if somebody on another block that got a phone, you know, you can watch the porn on there. And he like, yeah, I know about that, but you know, I'm tired of, I'm t listen, man, I'm just going to be real with you, young blood. Then he get up, right? Get up, young blood sitting on the, on the stool right there. So, dude, get up. Get in front of him. He's like, hey, man, look, check this out, man. Um, Since I've been feeding you and I know you can't repay me back and I've been locked down for 20 years, man, and I've been keeping them niggas off your butt up in here, man, I, I think you need to I think you need to take care of me, man. He's like, what you mean, take care of you? He like, man. So, he, so the dude looked that way. And then he looked that way. Then he he listening, making sure ain't nobody really down there coming down the hallway, right? Making sure no guards. So he's like, hey, man, give me a kiss. No homo, y'all. Stop playing military mind games. We not about to play these games, y'all. I'm just telling y'all the story. Stop playing games, <laughs> right? So he tell him, like, man, give me a kiss, man. He like, get you a kiss. Like, yeah, man, give me a kiss, man. I, can I? I mean, that's all. It, that's all I want is a little kiss, man. I can't get that. He like, no, man. I ain't finna give you no kiss. I ain't gay. He like, yo, I'm not. Hold on. He like, he like, man, I ain't gay. <laughs> and the booty better like, hey, hold on, hold on, dude, chill out, man. I'm not gay neither. Don't, man, I ain't gay neither. I'm just saying, though. I just wanna. 
Could I just get a little kiss? I mean, God damn, man. I've been taking care of you all this time. And you, this how you going to do me like that? I'm going to do this again because the haters, they like to chop up my videos and try to say, oh, Dante, he this, he that, all this type of craziness, right? This is just a story, y'all. This is not Dante saying that this was Dante was in there doing. Okay, so we ain't about to play these military mind games, man. I'm just giving y'all the story. Don't chop this video up talking about, oh, this was Dante was doing. Now, hold on. So he like, he like, man, bro, man, watch out. So the dude like corner him, put his hands like, like, like one right here, one right here, like kind of got him trapped in. He just go in, he give him a, a kiss. He like, man, watch out, man. Get up off me. <clears throat> and then he like, hey, man, let's give me a kiss, man. So he, so dude like, man, try to get up, dude grab him and push him down like hey man i told you man i just want to kiss man this can get crazy man this can turn into something right now this can turn into something real matter of fact man hey i'm gonna tell you something man them bloods i've been keeping them i've been keeping them dudes up off you and this how you want to play me them bloods want to kill you man are you trying to play me like that all right man go I'm going to tell you right now, if you leave this cell without giving me no kiss, I'm going to let them bloods get at you. And even if you try to go to the hole, they're going to get at you in there too. And matter of fact, I'm going to tell you right now, if you leave out this cell, because now I'm about to up the ante on you. Now you got to give me a hug and a tongue kiss. He like, man, man, dog. I, he like, all right, I'm just telling you. You leave out the cell, you're going to die, man. And that's just what it is, man. See, these are the military mind games that these dudes play. Right? All alone, the Bloods not even thinking about this dude. The Bloods only approached the dude early in his bed because they wanted him to join. But the Bandit already put the word out to Big Blood. Like, yo, that's me right there. Matter of fact, pick on 10 bags of hot Cheetos and a pack of great sodas right here. That's me right there. Now, I'm working on that. That's me. <clears throat> That's the con. He's prison cons, man. So he like, man, all I got to do is give you a kiss, man. He like, That's all you got to do. That's all you got to do. Just give me a hug and give me a kiss. That's all I ask. That's all I, that, I ask, man. It ain't nothing more, nothing less. That, that's all I ask, man. That's that's it, bro. He like, all right, man. I ain't gay. He like, yeah, I know. I know we ain't gay, but c come on, bro. Let's go. All right. Oh, he come. We he bring him in, and he, they get to the kiss it. Then he, then he cuff his butt cheek. And he like, yo, man, chill out, man. Chill. He like, yeah, yeah. I know. I know. My bad. My bad, bro. My bad. My bad, bro. I, go ahead and get up out of here, bro. Go get up out of here. So the dude here take the sheet down and Puss up out the cell. Now he walking down the tier like, man, what the f just happened? Hold on, y'all. <clears throat> so he walking down the tier. His mind all tore up. He like, man, what the f just happened? Man, this nigga just kissed on me and, and caught my butt. Man, what the f Man. So he in the cell. And now he thinking like, oh, man, I remember. Dante told me this how these dudes be here getting down. They'll befriend you. They'll feed you. So-called protect you. And then they want to hit you with these military mind games. So now he's sitting there, right? Like, man. Man, I don't know what to do. I'm going to tell y'all what he should have done. It, he should have either had one of these. And equipped, and, and, and equipped, and he got himself equipped with it. He should have went right back down there. This is what I would have did, y'all. I would have went, first of all, that whole scene would have never played out. But let's just say that scene did what happened to me. I would have either got a hell of one of them, 
or I already would have had it. I would have went back in there. I'd be like, hey, put up the white sheet. I've just been thinking. And y'all stop playing military mind games. I'm telling y'all what I would have did. Do not do not edit this video and try to make it seem like it's something that it ain't. Now, I would have went back in there with the banger. But I would have had it tucked. Would have been like, yo, put the white sheet back up. I want to repay you for all the things that you done done for me. And he like, oh, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. Let me put that white sheet up, right? And as soon as he would have had his back turned, right? As soon as he would have had his back turned by putting that white sheet up, I would have slid the, the sword of justice out, the banger, and I would have planted that thing right beside of his neck. I would have poked him. Boom, 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 right? Or... Or if I didn't want to get that murder charge, right, I would have given that buck 50. Would have been like, yeah, cut him all right there, baby. Lift him with that deep scar, right? And why not? Poke him a cut. See, you got, I'm not, and hold on, hold on, hold up. I'm not, pro, I'm not promoting no violence. This is a, this is a toy. This is not real. Look, this is not real. I'm not promoting no violence. But there's certain places you can hit a man while locked up without actually taking his life. So you don't have to get a tip to murder charge or murder charge, right? Uh, you got to understand, when you're following that blade down, right? Uh, I say have two blades. If you're about to go to war, you're about to go do something to somebody. Because sometimes that blade might be in a break when you, you know apply that pressure on somebody's body. So you might need to get two. But, I mean, get you a two-inch, you know, a two-incher, right? <clears throat> That's a poker or something, you know? Because, um, believe it or not, um, if you hit somebody, I don't know, <sighs> don't go out there with a big blade that's that long. Unless you're going out there to take somebody's life, right? Don't go out there with a big blade unless you're out there trying to take somebody's life. But if you finna go in there and just to make a point, like, yo, I ain't to be messed with, but you ain't trying to get that charge that can land you in a box for many years and get you sent, sent all the way up north to the max, get you a little something, right? Not that, not that. Um, not that long, just enough, just to do some slicing, right? And just, when he, when he put that sheet back up, and bent off guard, when it came up, hit him with a, uh, real deep, and then hit him a couple times in his back, bow, 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 right? Then I would've got up out the cell. And then, I would've been hollering, God, help. I can't really scream, y'all. My voice ain't really there. <laughs> Multi-purpose blade, yeah. <laughs> Will. I would have been like, God, help. He trying to kill me. He trying to kill me. While running out of there, God, help. Right? Please help me. No, this is not a real. Who, whoever thinking that this, this is not a. Listen. I said this is what I would have done. I'm not saying this is a true story. This is things that does happen. I'm telling y'all what would have happened, what can happen while like this has happened. Okay. Now, hold on. We finna do a poll because we got some people in the comment section that cannot um, distinguish fact from reality. This what we doing. Do y'all think that, let me word this right. Do y'all, type one, if y'all think that there's booty predators that's in prison. Type two, if y'all don't think that there's no booty predators that's in prison. Type one, if you believe that there's booty predators in prison. Type two, if you don't think that there's no booty predators. 
I'm running down a list of things for inmates, future inmates, because we ain't going to front like it's a lot of, uh, oh, oh, DJ Yokumushu said, I don't think it's common since it's okay to be gay now. Oh, no. Oh, I'm glad you said that. I, I, I'm glad you said that. Yes, there are more open homosexuals that's out there on the main line, right? But here's the thing. There's still cats that's locked up that want to perpetrate that they are a straight man but want to mess around with the punks, right? There are certain gangs and organizations that if you get caught messing with a homosexual, you can get that blade pushed on you or you can get put out, beat out, and cut out, right? Or bled out that gang or organization for messing with a punk. <clears throat> There's dudes that PC up because they like, yo, I want to be with a punk, but I don't want to take this whipping. I don't want to get blood in, blood out. Right? So I'm a PC up and I'm a PC up with my punk. Right? Oh, oh, yeah. There's a lot of uh, open homosexuals out there. But then you still got dudes that just want to hold on to that image of that, uh, man, I'm a man. I don't mess with no punks. But they really do like punks and but they want to hold that image. Come on. <clears throat> if what I said, if you if you disagree what I said, type two. If you agree what I just said, type one. If you agree of what I just said, type one. If you disagree what I said, type two. There's a lot of cats in there that that won't that want to project that they straight like big cadillac that's right he knocked out susan on the yard just for susan walking up to him talking to him turn around and bail right yeah but all alone he was busting down somebody on a sack of potatoes in the kitchen. So what I'm saying is, uh, here's the deal. The booty bandits exist. Um, I think that, yes, I do think that it's very rare, okay? I think it's very rare that the booty band is like Purple Passion, right? Sweet Low, right? Uh, Fleece Johnson. I think they still do exist, but it's rare because, yes, there's a lot of homosexuals that's roaming, a lot of punks that's just giving it up. But here's the thing, though. A lot of them punks done got blowed out. They butthole like this big. Some of them uh, bandits, they like to fight. They like the thrill. Y'all got to understand, man, these dudes is sick. You know how sometimes, and this is for the fellas and for some of you women. Hold up. This is for some of you fellas and some of you women. Y'all know how y'all like the foreplay where y'all like to wrestle with your with your girl or your guy, right? Y'all like to wrestle. Y'all like to fight. Like, you know, all of that. And then y'all get to it. But some of these dudes, they don't want it to be given. They want it. They, they, they like the thrill of the fight, right? And like I said, um... 
hey, it is what it is. Stay out of prison, man. But if you find yourself in prison, these are the things you look out for, man. And I, and I usually would say, I just heard a story, y'all. One of my homies told me this story last week. I suppose to been told y'all this one. <clears throat> just because you went to school, <clears throat> just because you went to school with a dude, right? And you maybe knew him in high school, but he been gone for about eight, nine, ten years. You don't know that ain't the same dude that you knew. That ain't the same guy that you went to school with. Yeah. That ain't the same dude. Uh, you get up in that cell and y'all get to reminiscing about high school. Not knowing that this dude is 100%. Well, he rock and roll with that, with the rainbow flag, right? But he's the aggressor type. And you don't even know. Then you fight. I was told the story y'all last week. And he did say it happened in Jackson, Michigan too. My homeboy told me that a couple sailed down from him. One of his bo one of the guy's boys came in a cell. Yo, put him in with me, man. That's my dog from the streets. Right? Um, three days of this being his dog from the streets. Allegedly, I don't know if this happened for real or not, but uh, dude got up on the bed. He was at the top bunk. Dude, and, and let me tell y'all something, right? I want y'all to listen. Here's another tip. If you find yourself in prison or the county, yo, listen to me, y'all. Please listen. These are some do's and don'ts. Do not lay. When you go to bed, don't you lay with your ass up. Lay. Do not lay on your belly. When you go to bed, you do not lay on your belly. Don't you be laying on your bed on your belly with your ass up. Don't even have your ass up. Don't have... Don't be laying on your stomach. Because what I'm about to tell y'all now. So, he creep up on the bed. And he got the banger. I'm not even going to call it the sword of justice. Because the sword of justice is mine. He got the banger. He creep up on dude. Lay up on him. And he put that blade to his neck. And told him if you scream. If you holler. I'm going to end you right now. And then, well, he got up in him. <clears throat> if this story cap, type two. If y'all think this story real, type one. If you don't think this can happen, type two. Type one, if you think this can happen. He told him, if you scream, I'm going to put this I'm gonna put this in you. I'm going to put it in you. But he still put something in him. So, hey, y'all keep playing military mind games if you want. I'm just a messenger, y'all. Don't stone me. I'm just a messenger. I'm just a messenger. Y'all want to keep going down the rabbit hole? Let's keep getting a little dark. Y'all want to keep getting a little dark? Let's get, let's get, let's keep getting a little bit more dark. Now you get it where you got these these men that know they about to get they about to go home, right? They know they about to go home. And they been busting down men, right? They whole bid. When they get out. You know, he got a little size on him now, right? He got his, you know, he he, he got his muscles, right? He done worked his chest out. You know, he got that nice boy here, too. 
Now, Michael Jordan thing, right? He get with a chick, right? Matter of fact, he give her a baby. She taking care of him. He a felon. He ain't got no drive. The nigga that's at home, right? Um, There's a knock at the door one day. The girl come to the door. Hello? Who is it? It's Tommy. Tommy? Who is Tommy? Yo, not my sister, y'all. I'm just saying. This is just a dude. It's Tommy. Um, who you looking for? Is um, Ray Ray here? Um, yeah, Ray Ray here. Here he in the shower. Hey, man, open the door, man. Um, excuse me, man, open the door. Hold on. <clears throat> she run. Hey, Ray Ray, there's a guy by the name of Tommy at the door. Ray Ray, I get big, right? Oh, he is? Yeah, who is he? Oh, oh just hold on, baby, hold on. He hurry up. Get his stuff off. She like, who is that, baby? Oh, um... Uh, Go in the room with the baby and close the door. Uh, okay, baby. Ray, go to the door. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, man, what's up with you, man? Why you, what, man? Who, who that broad, man? Oh, that's that, that's my girl, man. That's my girl. Hey, okay, but I mean your girl, but hey, man, f all that, man. What's up with you, man? You ain't been, you know, I was getting out, man. Why you been writing me? Man, hold on. Let, let's step outside. Right? They step outside. Baby girl came out of her room and she done eased up to the door. She really can't hear what's going on. She like, man, what the heck they talking about? He like, hey, uh. He like, hey man, let's check this out, man. I'm out, man. And uh shit, I wanna pick up what we left off at in the joint. He like, nah, man, I, I done moved on, man. I I, I got a face. He like, man, I ain't trying to hear all that, man. You think this stop? You think this gonna stop? No, man, come here, man. Give me a kiss, man. Stop playing games, man. Come on, give me a kiss, man. Chill out, man. Come here. He like, nah, bro. He like, what you mean? Nah, bro. Man, stop playing games. Come here, man. Now the girl looking out the peephole, and she see her dude give him a kiss. Then he walk off. So she like, what the fuck is going on? Now, I'm a, I will continue with this story, y'all. But since y'all want to play military mind games, I'm about to play military mind games. And here we go. Tommy, put the collection plate up. All right, y'all. Tommy about to put the collection plate up. And, uh... I need for y'all to, the Bible says that if a man don't work, a man don't eat. So let's get it. We finna get the collection plate. There we go. Come on, y'all. Let's go. Class that collection plate. Let's go. No, don't run. Don't run, Bree. Uh-uh. The collection plate is right there, baby. Come on, y'all. This is the Dante Show. Hit that like button. The cash app is right there. Stop playing game. Let's go. The Dante Show with three W's. Let's go, y'all. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go. It's right there. Put the cash up up one more time. Come on, y'all. Let's go. The cash app is up. It's time for y'all to bless the cash app. You listen, y'all. The Sunday dinners ain't going to pay for itself. Diamond Hand Japan. Welcome, Diamond Hand Japan, y'all. The cash app is up. Listen, the Sunday dinners is not going to pay for themselves. Okay, the Sunday dinner. Uh, listen, tomorrow we serving two pieces of fried tilapia, a scoop of macaroni, um, 
a, a dinner roll, uh, some green beans, and you got a choice to get you either a piece of pound cake, Mother Pearl made the pound cake, y'all, and or you can get you some banana pudding, okay? And then on the other side, you 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 get the two pieces of bait uh you get the two pieces of the fried tilapia or you can get the baked chicken, okay? After y'all get y'all main dinner, make sure y'all go over there to Mother Pearl. She done baked the pound cake and the banana and the banana pudding. So the cat, we done pass the collection, played around one more time. Pass the collection, played around one more time. One more time, y'all. There we go. There we go. There you go. Cut it out. Stop. There you go. All right, y'all. Now. Now, okay, so, and, and, and check this out. For the for the haters out there, right, let me talk about, oh, there go Dante go again. There you go. Always begging. Let me tell you something. All right. Matter of fact, the Bible says that when a man works, right, did a man get to eat? In Genesis, it says that when God created Eden, right, he did not cause it to rain because there was no man to till the land, right? There was no man to till the land, to work the land. This is why he didn't cause it to rain. So the first duty of a man, right, I'm a man, and for the man that's out there, right, this is a lesson, y'all, pay attention. For the man that's out there, our first duty, number one, is to praise God and worship God. And then number two, we are here to work. So I need mine. Right? I need mine. I need mine. Let's go. Give God. Give God what is God's and give Dante's what is Dante's. Give God what is God's and then give Dante's what is Dante's. Okay? See, the Pharisees came to Jesus and they said, so we pay tithes to Caesar? What What do you think, Jesus? They tried to catch him up. They said, yo, Jesus, shall we continue to pay the taxes to Caesar? And then Jesus said, yo, give me a coin. He said, whose picture on that coin? They said, it's Caesar's. He gave it back to him. He said, well, um, you give Caesar what is Caesar's and give God what is God. So what I'm saying is, y'all, give God what is God and give Dante what is Dante's. And y'all stop being stingy and hit that like button. At minimum, at minimum, at least hit that like button, right? At minimum. Because I'm working, y'all. I'm working. I'm not even at 100% right now, y'all. I'm hot. I need to go jump right back in the shower, right? Yeah, that's right, Bree. Y'all make sure y'all pass that collection plate around and stop playing military mind games. But also, y'all hit that like button. That's, that's the minimum, right? That's the minimum. Now, let's get back to it. Um. So... He he go back in the, he he come back in there right, and he like, yo. <clears throat> he like yo check this out man. Ba she like baby, no the girl like yo baby who who was that who, who was that? He like man baby don't worry about that don't worry about that. She said listen, I seen you kiss him. Why was you kissing him? He like. Man, baby, I ain't my one kissing him, man. What are you talking about? She said, don't lie to me. I seen you. I seen you kissing him. He like, no, nah, baby, I don't know. You ain't see that. She like, man, I don't know what's going on. Well, man, you 
man, right? So I'm just letting y'all women know out there, man. Sometimes that that'll follow you home. What's done in the dark shall come to the light. One way or another. I know cats out here in real life that this happened to. That happened to. It was this dude that I thought that was. Oh, yeah, he a killer too. Oh, yeah, he a killer too. He a real killer too. And he out. And I'm thinking like, yo, it's, it's dudes out there talking about, yeah, he. Yeah, he was in there laying pipe down on gay guys up in there. And I'm like, no, that can't be real. He a killer, man. Yeah, that, yeah. He, he he like that. Yay. For my women out there, for my beautiful women out there, and all women are beautiful, beautiful, just by the essence of how y'all was created. So for all my women out there, please listen to me. If you are in a relationship with a dude that just keep going to jail, that just can't find, that he just can't stay out of either the county or prison, every time he get released, y'all go to the clinic. I'm real stuffy, y'all. Y'all need to go to the clinic. Make sure y'all go to the clinic because I, I I told y'all the story already where this dude he had that package and uh he ended up giving it to a woman and she ended up passing away due to full out blown AIDS. Yeah, I told y'all it was gonna get dark. I told y'all it was gonna get dark. You women out there, make sure. Make sure if you're talking to a man that's in prison or a guy that just can't stay out of the county jail, and I'm not saying every dude is like that. I'm not saying that. But we living in 2023, y'all. We living in 2023. And it's, it's a lot of wickedness, craziness, deception, all type of crazy, weird stuff going on. Go get checked out. That penis ain't worth your health. Go to the clinic before you open your legs up to one of these jail dudes. Because you don't know what he was in there doing. You don't know what um, what cell he was creeping in at night. Or doing something in the shower. I'm telling y'all, women, I'm telling you. Y'all better go. When you talking to these jail dudes, matter of fact, nowadays you talking to anybody. Y'all first date shouldn't be Netflix and chill. It shouldn't be, um, let's go out to Applebee's and get the two for 20. Our first date need to be the clinic. Imagine that. All right, baby, I'm about to pick you up. Because I know we going to listen. I don't know about y'all, but back in my day, oh, I'm getting it on the first day. And it wasn't it wasn't one of them things that um that I just demanded. It it just usually happened that way. You know, I guess I'm just a nice, charming guy. You know, I ain't the finest thing walking around, but it, it is what it is, right? On the first day, I usually got it, right? So, uh. The whole thing is, yo, you got to, the first the first place we need to go is to the clinic. That's what the, we in 2023 now. So that's what, that's what it's got to be, yo. Instead of going out to Applebee's getting the 22 for 20, instead of going to uh, the all-you-can-eat buffet, the Chinese food buffet, nah. <coughs> You need to go to the clinic and get tested. And that's, that's it. That's it. That's what your first date need to be. Because I'm telling you, you don't want to end up. You don't want to end up in a situation where you like, man, why? 
Because a lot of one night stands be crazy. A lot of a lot of one night stands can end that way. It definitely can end that way. <laughs> so, hey. That's how it could be. You gotta make sure that uh, you protect yourself out here. If you don't protect yourself out here, uh, well, it is what it is, right? So, um, yeah, man, we just we just living in some crazy times, y'all. And for the women out there, um, and for the men, for the men too. For the men too, right? Some of these women, I'm gonna tell y'all. I'm gonna tell y'all the story. It's another story, real quick. <laughs> real quick. One of my homeboys, right? I told y'all the story before. But for the new people, because I see a lot of new people when alive. Some people never heard this story, so I'm gonna tell y'all the story. One of my homeboys, he called me. We gonna say it was on a Friday night. He called me. He, he like, yo, yo, D. I said, what's up? He said, hey, uh, you know this girl by the name of so and so? I said, what she look like? So she dark skinned. Uh, she slim, with a big bubble butt. I said, okay, it sounded familiar. It sounded familiar. I said, she got a gap in her mouth? He like, yeah, 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 she got a gap. I said, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what about her? He like, man, I'm about to. I said, no, that's a no-go. That's a no-go, man. He like, why, man? What, what, What's up with her? I said, listen, listen to me, and listen to me really good. Don't touch her at all. Now, y'all probably like, wait, what's going on? So, back in the day, I used to be in the strip club a whole lot. Not because I was a freaky, freaky dude or a big trick. It's it's because in my town, in my city, um, I used to be with a lot of females, you know, in middle school, high school, and a lot of them girls turned into strippers. And, you know, I was just a cool dude and they was cool girls and, you know, I was cool with the with management at the strip club. Like I said, sometimes I come up there with my PlayStation or my Xbox and me and my homies will be over there by the pool table area, you know, playing the game for money. So I wasn't in there on no freaky stuff, but, you know, it is what it is. So my homeboy, he trusted my word when it came to a lot of these girls or some of these strippers. And ain't nothing wrong with... Um, but we'll talk about that later. So you get it where, you know, he he trusted my opinion about um, these girls. So I said, no, nah, that's a no-go, man. Don't, no, nah, leave that alone. And he pressed me like, man, just come on, man. Tell me, man. Man, what's up, man? What, what's up with it? I'm like, no, I'm telling you, leave it alone. Just leave it. I know. I know she look good, but trust me, leave it alone. He like, man, all right. So he, he hang up the phone. I'm going to say Monday, Monday evening, me and him riding around the city in a drop top, right? I'm in that blue Mustang, right, the drop top. It's about 7 o'clock in the evening, summertime, y'all. So I'm cruising. Um, His phone blowing up, and he just cut his phone off. I'm like, well, you ain't going to answer that? He like, Nah, man. So then my phone get to blowing up. And I'm like, what the heck? This is baby mama. She like, I'm like, oh, what? I said, why she, uh, why, why is she calling me for? He like, I don't know. Answer. So I'm like, hello? <clears throat> Hold on, y'all. I'm like, hello? 
She like, hey, what the f so and so at? I can't say his name, y'all. What the f so and so at? I would kill that nigga when I see him. I would kill him. I said, hold on, wait, wait, what's going on? She like, man, Dante, this nigga burnt me, man. I'm eight months pregnant. I'm eight months pregnant. I'm going to kill that. Where you at, Dante? I, look, y'all, I was afraid. It's like I did something wrong, right? I was afraid for him, for myself. I said, I don't know where you at. Uh, uh, when I, when I, if I, I'm going to tell him to call you. Because he cussing me out. <laughs> so I said, all right, I, I'm going to call you back. I hang up the phone. And I look right at him. I'm like, yo. I said, tell me. Tell me you ain't have sex with an old girl. Tell me you ain't do it to her. He like, man, no, man. I just let her, um, I let her go down on me. I, I, she gave me Earl sex. I said, dude, I told you not to touch that girl. Then he tried to flip it on me. Well, I told, I asked you was she good to go. I said, dude, I told you no. Don't touch it. He was like, well, you ain't tell me. You ain't tell me. Like I'm the guardian of this dude penis or something. So <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, dude, I told you she was a no go. I'm not, and I don't put I don't put people business out, you know, because at the time, this girl was my home girl too. So I wasn't just gonna put her business out. I told enough to him to to say, yo, that's a no go. Don't don't leave her alone. Right? Don't don't do that. But he did it anyway. And well, it is what it is. Yep. It, it is what it is. So, she ended up getting burnt eight months pregnant. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Yo, I got to go jump in the shower yard. I got to run on the, tr on the treadmill. Then I'm going to take me some NyQuil and some Vicks so I can clear my whole system out. Uh, I will be going live tomorrow at 8 p.m. again. So y'all make sure y'all be in the building. Hit that notification button. Also, uh, I want to thank everybody that blessed the Cash App. I want to thank everybody that hit the like button. I want to thank all of y'all that been staying tuned with me. I dropped a new a prison video too, y'all. If y'all haven't seen the video, let me let me show y'all what it looked like. Let me show y'all what it looked like. This is the new prison video that I dropped today. Uh, it's right here. It's called Freaky Freddy Prison Story. Now, there's a difference. I know y'all probably thought I'm talking about this Freaky Freddy. This is the Freaky Freddy Live right here. This Freaky Freddy Live, the one that got nine... 9.2k views. That's the live. This is the actual video. This is actually the prison story right here. Freaky Freddy prison story. Y'all make sure y'all go watch that after this after this live end. And matter of fact, um, so I know that y'all came from here. Type your city in the comment section under that Freaky Freddy prison story when you watch it. So that way I know that y'all came over there and checked that out. Right? Um, with that, my Lockdown Warriors. I'm about to roll out, get right, so I can get back at it tomorrow. 8 o'clock. Y'all make sure y'all in the building. Um, uh, I got another prison story that I'm dropping tomorrow, too. So, uh, y'all make sure y'all be there. With that, <coughs> I'm 
Let me get better, y'all. Y'all say y'all be safe. Ask Jesus to forgive y'all for y'all sins. Because I don't know if we're going to see each other tomorrow or not. <clears throat> but ask Jesus to forgive y'all for y'all sins. And with that, I'm out, y'all.